All right, first thing I want you to do is I want you to comment below and let me know what you guys think is your experience finding a mentor, what you think in your mind is also the best way to do it right now. So today we're gonna to do a breakthroughs with Benson answering your specific questions. And I wanted to know what specific type of insights that you guys have. You can comment below and let me know. What is the best way to find a mentor? I'm gonna give you my own experience finding a mentors. And so I think, let me tell you a story actually. The first mentor I ever had was when I was 17 or 18 years old around there. This is a long time ago, almost a decade. Um, and that time was focused on, it was a person, he, he was introduced to me by a mutual friend. And he had like a big 10,000 square feet home. This is in Stevenson, which is where I live in uh, BC. And he had like these, this big home, his mansion. His backyard had four full court basketball courts. Four. He had a huge soccer field and a football field. And then he had two other like mini homes, like normal homes beside his thing. And so back then I was like, well, I was enamored by the way that all the tool, the toys that he had fancy cars and all this stuff. And I was like, what does he do? And later on, I found out that he had like a multiple different uh, businesses. He made, basically sold a lot of different products, specifically product type businesses. And he was very successful at what he did. But to me, back then, you know, I was just like 17, 18, what do you know, right? You're just kind of enamored by a lot of the, the fancy stuff that he has. But what was truly priceless at that time, I didn't know he was my mentor because I was just friends with his mutual friend. I was just paying attention to kind of listening to his conversations. And I remember one night when we started, when he started sharing more about his, his story, when he was traveling um, to, for a business trip, he was telling more about like his mindset, how he thought about things. And I think that had a deep relation to me in the way that he started sharing from his real world experience of what he applied. And that left a very big impression on me in business, really. And then I was able to listen in on it. We weren't very close. I was just a mutual friend there sometimes once every few months we would go to his place um, and then just listen to all the stuff that he was doing and it was very interesting very thriving kind of stories now the point I'm making here is that uh, early really early on you can be able to have if you have mutual friends if you have people that you know about you want to be able to listen to the conversations that they have you want to make sure that the person that you're going for the qual the qualifications of a mentor someone that is where you want to be someone that has an experience is someone that has gone through the trials and tribulations, the challenges, made a ton of mistakes, and also had a lot of successes as well that's able to share with you. Um, I've met, had mentors early on like that. The other mentor I have is Jay Abraham, which is more publicly known. So he's a marketing legend, business growth legend, created $21.7 billion of growth, mentors people like Tony Robbins, Damon John. And the way I started that relationship with him was, I think it was two years ago, when I basically invested $25,000 to basically have a two to three day strategy meeting with him and that's when I really got and before then I'd study a lot of his content he's the person that really introduced me to to strategy and the whole thing so that's the second way if you have the money and you can afford it you spend money to be able to meet that specific person if they're publicly known the third mentor another mentor I have is I would say if you want to measure by his success he's probably the most successful mentor that I know that I talk with him once a month and he uh, he's built companies over a hundred million dollars uh, just a little bit under a billion dollars and he's done he's invested in a portfolio of 100 plus companies in multiple different industries he's had a ton of successes and he's also had a ton of failures and the conversations that you have with him is is priceless right so that was not something that i could pay for not something through a mutual connection that was something that i actually had to take years to be able to focus on and hone in and be able to get his attention because usually the people that you want to reach out to they're mega successful anybody that's worth over 100 million or even at a billion dollar level they are extremely busy they are not publicly known like if you uh saw the mentor that I had the third one I talked about the really successful one on the street you would not know he was as successful as he is he looks like the average guy that's walking around he doesn't drive fancy cars either which i think also rubs off on me but i'm telling you this story because each mentor that i have from jay from the one that was originally back there when i was younger and even now all of them have the way I cont contacted them, the way I got them was wall different ways, you know, cultivating that communication, that relationship. Um, I would say focus on three actionable things. Focus on what specific industry, what thing, why do you want to have that mentor? What is the value that makes the value to them? What value are you adding to their life? The third thing is what is the outcome? What is the result? And what types of mindsets do you want to get? What qualities do you want to get from this mentor? Those are three important questions I want you to ask yourself going through all these different, and I have multiple different mentors too, I just use those three as a way to give you reference. Another way you can think about it is to, not necessarily a mentor, 
but you have multiple different people in uh, EO, Entrepreneur Organization, which I'm a member of, YEC, Young Entrepreneur Council, these other peer groups of entrepreneurs, that's also another way to be able to get a lot of mentors there, people that are in there that are more successful or in other industries that you are not in to be able to get the insights. A lot of those things just start from there. Um, you wanna make sure, the mistakes that I would not make when it comes to getting a mentor is, and I see this all the time, there's people that you are watching this and you know you made this mistake and I've replied to you, is that you email and you're saying, can I have one hour of your time every single week? Or can I have, I've even had a guy told me that, hey, can I come to the office just to be around you and help you clean or help you do some administrative stuff? Like you don't even have to pay me. And again, like I appreciate those kinds of reaching out. There's a way to add value, but you gotta think about what value means to that specific person. So never ask when, you're, when you want to have a mentor, never just directly ask for what you want. Find out what it is that they need and then add value to them in that way. Whether that's working for them for free, whether that's working for them to be able to do something, connecting them with someone, keep adding value. Keep adding value to them. And over time, as you build that relationship, because you don't you want to think of it as if you were to have a relationship with a mentor for 50 years, how would you approach it versus if you had him as a mentor for a month? You would approach it very, very differently. So I think you got to be more strategic with it. Find out. Basically, first step, find out who you want to go for, what industry you want to be in, what business uh, you want to be in. Look for public sources. If not, attend uh, forums, meetups of different entrepreneurial groups. Have conversations. Just start connecting with people. The third thing is find out what is the value that you can add to that person. Never ask directly because you got to keep in mind, they're extremely busy. Someone that you want to have as a mentor to you. So you want to be able to appreciate their time and respect that. And so find out what value you can add to them. So those are the three things that I want to share with you. Uh, comment below, let me know if you have what insights you got from this, what are uh, your experiences with mentors, and how do you approach mentors right now. And I'll be interested in hearing that. So comment below, let me know. The second thing is make sure you like this video. And the third thing, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get uh, notifications on videos that we release in the future. So thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one.